Welcome to this video on CT scan parameters. Whether you are a radi radiology professional, medical physicist, or simply curious about how CT scans work, this video will help you understand the key settings that influence image quality and radiation dose. So let's dive in. A CT scan is an imaging technique that uses X-rays to generate detailed cross-sectional images. The key to obtaining clear images while minimizing radiation exposure lies in optimizing the right scan parameters. There are several essential parameters that influence both the image quality and the radiation dose. Let's break each one down. Kilovoltage peak, or KVP, controls the energy of the X-ray beam. Higher KVP allows better penetration, making it useful for imaging denser structures, such as bones. However, it also increases radiation dose, so it must be op optimized for each patient. Typically, AD KVP is used for PD pediatric scans and adult head scans. 120 kVp is widely used for adult body scans. It's important to note that X-ray tubes generate a spectrum of X-ray energies. When we say 140 kVp, this refers to the peak energy, but the mean energy is usually about one third of the peak value. Here is an example of the energy spectrum of a 140 kVp spectrum and a 80 kVp spectrum. And the 80 and 140 refers to the peak energy. MA and MAS. MA represents the tube current and MAS is the product of MA and exposure time in seconds. Higher values improve image quality, but also increase radiation dose. To balance image quality and a dose, modern CT scanners use automatic exposure control, or AEC, which adjusts these values based on patient size. Rotation time plays a crucial role in reducing motion artifacts. Faster rotation times minimize blurring in moving structures like the heart, but may require trade-offs in image quality. A diagnostic CT scanner typically completes one full rotation in 0.5 seconds, allowing for rapid imaging. State-of-the-art CT scanners can capture the entire heart in a single heartbeat. Radiation oncology CT simulators often use a one second rotation time, balancing image quality with those considerations. Next is pitch. Pitch is used in helical scanning mode. Pitch determines how fast the CT table moves relative to the X-ray beam. A higher pitch speeds up the scan and lowers radiation dose, but reduces image quality, requiring more interpolation for reconstruction. Conversely, a lower pitch provides better detail, but increases dose. A pitch of one is equivalent to an axial scan mode, ensuring full data sampling without gaps or excessive overlap. Next, slide thickness. Slide thickness affects the resolution of the scan. Thin slices provide more anatomical detail but can be noisier. Where thick slices reduce noise but may blur small structures. The choice depends on the clinical need. For example, for cerebral perfusion studies, where identifying large infarcted areas is a crucial, 
a 5 mm slide thickness is sufficient to minimize unnecessary radiation dose. For, visualize, for visualizing tiny vessels, a much thinner slide thickness is required. Modern CT scanners can achieve slide thickness as small as 0.5 mm for high resolution imaging. Finally, the reconstruction kernel. Reconstruction kernel apply filters to enhance different structures in the image. A smooth kernel is used for soft tissues, while a sharp kernel enhances edges, making ideal for bone scans. Most CT reconstructions use a standard kernel. This is equivalent to a ramp kernel, a ramp filter in filter back projection reconstruction and adjustments to enhance either the low or high frequencies can refine image details. So here is the RAM filter in the frequency domain. We can see that it, it has a, a higher weight on the higher frequency. And by adjusting the shape of this RAM filter, it can correspond to a smoother kernel or a sharper kernel. Advanced CT techniques now incorporate machine learning and AI, allowing for more sophisticated dose optimization and image quality improvements. For example, ultra-low dose CT is used for screening applications, such as lung cancer detection. Dual energy CT uses two different KVP settings to enhance tissue contrast and the material differentiation. Iterative reconstruction reduces image noise while maintaining low radiation exposure, breaking the traditional trade-off between image quality and radiation dose. Thank you all for watching. By carefully selecting the right CT scan parameters, we can achieve optimal image quality while keeping radiation dose low as low as possible. If you find the video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe for more imaging content. See you next time. Bye.